about its power level. It's over 9,000! What? 9,000? Perfect! Alright, how's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys and gals. And today, what I have for everyone is my full review of the Amazon Basics Cardioid Microphone. Now, hold on, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. For those of you that are new to the channel or maybe you're returning and you would like to know how my process works, typically what I do is I get a product and I shoot my unboxing and first impressions video and once I feel like I got a handle on everything that I want to talk about and cover for you guys and gals, then it's full review time. So without further ado, let's jump into this full review. Starting off, the first thing I want to talk about with you guys and gals in regards to this microphone is the overall build quality and design. Now, starting off, talking about this microphone from a build quality perspective, I have to say Amazon has done a great job here. There's no rattling or creaking of any kind. This microphone actually feels really, really solid. And it's surprisingly solid, especially when you think about it in regards to the weight. It's actually extremely lightweight as well. But in terms of the overall build quality, I have to say that this microphone is really, really good. And I haven't had any issues, no rattling, nothing. So the build quality on this microphone is really, really solid. Good. Up next, talking about the overall design, when we talk about this microphone, again, this is where I have to say Amazon has done a great job. Now it's fully adjustable up to 90 degrees, so you can get a nice 90 degree angle out of it, which is really, really nice. And pretty much, it plugs directly into your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on either your smartphone or your audio recording devices, and then you're good to go. So in regards to the design, it's pretty much universal. As long as you have a device or pretty much anything with a 3.5 millimeter input, you should be good to go. Now that's important for me because as I said before, primarily I do all of my recording for the channel using a smart device. And that's really one of the big reasons why any device that I pick up has to have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is because I need to have that really, really good audio, especially if I pick up a device and it doesn't have the best audio from the onboard microphones, then a real easy solution for that, if it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, is to just plug in one of my microphones and we're good to go. So I was really happy to see that, you know, Amazon, they didn't try to go with something that's over the top. They didn't try to go with something that you need extra cables for. Just your basic 3.5 millimeter jack connected up to a solid microphone and you're good. Make it adjustable and we're in business. So I really do like the overall design of this microphone. It's really, really convenient. Really, really small. Makes it really portable as well. Really good stuff when we talk about the overall design. Now. Let's talk about some of the functions and the features. As I said before, we pretty much basically touched on it already. It is uh, adjustable up to 90 degrees, all right? And you get your 3.5 millimeter jack or plug in there. That's pretty much everything that this microphone features. And it's a nice cordioid style microphone. So you're gonna be able to pick up some really good sound with it as well. And that pretty much does it for the functions and the features, all right? Next, let's go over some of the compatible devices. And again, as I said, as long as you have a device or a product or a smartphone or what have you with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you're good to go. So what do I have on hand today? I have my A2 Lite on hand. It does indeed feature a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And what's nice about Android devices is that Android is pretty much baked into the device that as soon as you plug in something, 
It's going to recognize it, and all you have to do is launch your camera and start recording, and you're in business. So that's pretty much it. As long as your device has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you're good to go, and it's just going to work. Now, you can adjust it this way. You can adjust it that way. Maybe you want to do some rear-facing audio. You can spin it around. You can see it spins fairly easily inside of the jack here. So it's pretty much universal and you shouldn't have any issues all right so good stuff and as i said as long as you have a 3.5 millimeter jack you're good now if you have a newer device without a jack then you're going to be stuck living that dongle lifestyle so you're going to have to plug up your uh dongle to get your jack back and then you plug it in, and then you're good. So it will work with the newer devices. You're just going to be living that dongle lifestyle. You know we don't do that around here. Hashtag bring that headphone jack back. You know we need that. That's how we do it. But it is pretty much universal and compatible with just about any device. As I said, we're not going to continue to beat that dead horse up. Let's just keep it moving. All right? Now, let's quickly just go over some usage scenarios where this microphone would come in handy, all right? So, let's say you're recording in noisy environments. Maybe you're at a, a trade show, or maybe you're outside recording some ambient footage that you're going to use as some B-roll later, and it's really, really noisy. Maybe you you live in a noisy neighborhood or by traffic, and you really, when you record, you don't get the best sound. That's where one of these microphones would come in handy because it allows you to isolate the uh, sound that you're trying to pick up here, okay? Or maybe um, you're okay with doing a voiceovers, but the device that you have to do voiceovers with doesn't capture the best audio. That is yet another area where a microphone like this will come in handy. Because then you just plug it in and then you're good to go to do your voiceover. So, some real quick scenarios where a microphone like this would come in handy right there for you guys and gals. And pretty much the possibilities are endless. Okay? Whatever you think of, wherever you want to record audio, this bad boy is just going to work. Alright? Now, let's move on to the positives and negatives of this microphone. And then we're going to wrap it up. And, you know, we're going to start off with the negatives again because I feel like I'm covering the positives a little too much when I cover these products for you guys. So, yet again, this is going to be another video where we cover the negatives first. And really, in regards to the negatives, there's really only one that I could think of, okay? And that's the fact that this microphone has an operating distance, okay? So, you really have to, if you, for optimal audio, and y'all will see it, because I have some demonstrations at the end of the video, I have some music demonstrations, I have some audio-only demonstrations, and y'all will be able to hear the differences when I mess up in those demos. But one negative that this microphone has, it may be considered a positive to some, but it's a negative to me, is that the optimal operating distance for this microphone is 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters is approximately, uh, what, like uh, 4.5 inches or something like that? Not entirely sure. Okay, Google. How many inches is 10 centimeters? 10 centimeters equal 3.937 inches. Yeah, so approximately about 4 inches. That's the uh, optimal operating distance for this microphone. And trust me, you want to abide by that. Because if you get too close to this microphone while you're recording, it's going to mess your audio up. If you get too far away from this microphone while recording, it's going to mess your audio up. And you will hear it in the demonstrations that I'm going to play for you guys. So that's a little bit of a negative there that you have that pretty much um, that distance. So you really have to stay inside of it if you want to get the optimal recording on this microphone. Other than that, that's the only real negative that I found 
with this microphone and probably that's more of a personal preference thing for me because when I record my videos I'm moving around a lot behind the camera even though you guys and gals may not see it I'm moving around a lot so I really appreciate it when the mic just picks up the audio and they know it doesn't constrain me to a particular distance for the best audio. So that's why I would consider that to be a negative there. Other than that, that's the only real negative that I ran into with this microphone. So yeah. Now let's briefly sum up the positives and then we're going to talk about the price and I'm going to give you guys and gals my final thoughts and a recommendation or two and then we're going to cut to the demos and wrap this video up. So now talking about the positives, the overall build quality on this as I've said is top notch, I haven't had any issues. The overall design on this is top notch as well, I really do like the fact that they incorporated a 90 degree angle and it's pretty much fully adjustable. Alright, the uh, compactness and portability of this microphone is really, really good as well. And the audio. The audio that you're able to pick up from this is it's pretty good. As long as you stay inside of that optimal operating distance, you're going to get some really, really good audio from this microphone. And I, as I said, it's pretty much a universal microphone. As long as you have a 3.5 millimeter jack, you're good to go. So that's pretty much all of the positives there. And some would consider the price a positive, but we're going to get ready to talk about that in a few seconds here. So that sums up the positives and the negatives. Now let's talk about the price. And I'm going to give you guys and gals my final thoughts and a recommendation or two. Now... This, yet again, when we talk about the price, this is yet again another Amazon pickup. And, you know, y'all shouldn't be surprised because your boy is an Amazon Prime customer. And I, I push Amazon pretty heavily because I pretty much stand behind every everything that they offer. It's super convenient. Delivery is really, really fast. And if you're an Amazon Prime customer, you're guaranteed two-day shipping. You don't even have to worry about anything except for tax. So why not use Amazon? All right? Why not? But that being said, let's not ramble on, ramble off too far away from the subject. I picked up this microphone via Amazon and at checkout after taxes, this bad boy ran me about eight, $28. I was about to say 88 for some reason. $28 and change. Now, I'll be sure to throw up the exact pricing in post because y'all know I keep it 100 around here. I'm trying to find y'all the best deals possible, and I want y'all to know exactly what I paid. We don't sugarcoat around here. We keep it 100. So, I'll throw up the exact price in post, but for that price of $28, you guys and gals may be wondering, can I recommend y'all pick this up? And I'm going to have to say this is kind of a tough recommendation for me. I mean, I want to say yes, but then you have products like the Movo microphone here, which offer a similar sound quality, um, also similar portability, pretty much similar all around functionality for a lot less price, okay? This is $28 and change, this is 14 bucks, all right? And they pretty much do the same thing. Again, they're both fully adjustable. They both pretty much work with anything with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The neat thing about this is it also incorporates a dedicated headphone jack, but it's not live. So you can listen to your playback after you record, but you can't listen to the live audio. So that is a one up there and for a lot less price. But I did notice something, which is why this is a yes recommendation for me, is that when I was using these two microphones side by side, I did notice a, uh, a definite difference in the overall audio quality between these two microphones. And y'all will be able to see that when y'all get to the demonstration portion of this video. So, 
Can I recommend that y'all pick up this microphone for $28 and change? I would have to say yes. If you want some really, really good audio, even if you're in noisy environments, then this is a definite pickup, okay? Especially if you want a nice quality product that you're not going to have any issues with. On that same token, if you want to save a little bit of money, I can also recommend the Movo microphone, but it does take a little bit of a hit in the build quality because this is a more of a plastic construction as opposed to you having the full metal construction here. So this is going to be able to take a lot more of a abuse. But that being said, I'm always trying to save you guys a lot, a lot more money while also offering y'all maximum performance. That's kind of the channel model here, trying to get y'all the best performing devices and products at the cheapest possible prices. So yes, I can recommend the Amazon Basics Cardioid Microphone, but that being said, if you on a budget and you're trying to save every dollar but still eke out similar performance, I can also recommend the Movo MA2010 Microphone as well. Keep in mind, you do take a little bit of a hit in regards to the build quality, but the overall functionality is pretty much the same. You do get better audio recording from the Amazon Basics microphone, but again, it's up to y'all, whatever you think is best. And I'll leave links to the full review of the Movo microphone and those demonstrations so y'all can see how they stack up side by side with the um, Amazon Basics microphone here. I'll have that stuff linked up down below in the video description for you guys and gals. So again, is it a recommendation? Yes. Can you save money with other things? Yes. Okay? All right. Sorry if that was a little bit confusing, but I do hope y'all found this video helpful. If y'all did find this video helpful and or enjoyed it in any way, shape, form, or fashion, Please feel free to give your boy a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more con uh, con con I was about to say comment, more content like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new videos. That being said, if this video piqued your interest and you'd like to know where you can pick up this microphone or any of the other microphones that I featured throughout this video, all the links to that stuff, everything I featured in this video, smartphones, microphones, so on and so forth, will be linked up down below in the video description. So, if your interest is piqued, down below in the video description should be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals, and you should be good to go. That being said, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll catch you guys and gals in my next video. Ah, wait a minute. My bad. This whole video was recorded using the rear-facing 12-megapixel camera on the Samsung Galaxy S8 in 1080p at 30 frames per second. So please let me know what y'all think of the overall video quality. And this video in particular today was recorded using no external microphone. So please let me know what you think of the overall audio quality as well. Because everything y'all saw for the production of this portion of the video was recorded using the uh, S8 cameras and onboard microphones. So let me know what you think. Alright, now we out of here. I'm going to cut to the demos. I'll catch you guys and gals in the next video. Peace, everyone. Alright, this is a test of the Amazon Basics cardioid microphone hooked up to the LG Stylo 3. I wonder what this is going to sound like. This is an audio only test. Alright, let's switch to the next device. Alright, this is a test of the Amazon Basics cardioid microphone connected up to the Samsung Galaxy S8. Once again, this is an audio only test. So I wonder how this is going to sound. Alright, let's switch to the next device. 
All right. Once again now, we're back with the final test. Again, we're testing out the Samsung Basics. Samsung, I'm tripping. The Amazon Basics cardioid microphone. This time it's connected up to the Google Pixel XL. And this is another audio only test. So I wonder how this is going to sound. Y'all, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Which device recorded the best audio paired up with this microphone? Now, let's move on to some other tests. Be right back.
All right, how's everybody doing today? Back again with the final part of the testing for the Amazon Basics cardioid microphone. So now what I'm gonna do for everyone is I'm gonna do a simulated fit and sound demo test using the Amazon Basics cardioid microphone. But first off, just so y'all can have some comparison, we're gonna do the test first using the onboard microphones on the Samsung Galaxy S8. So I have the S8 set up in dual capture mode here. I have my Alstom M6s paired up to my A2 Lite, which is what y'all can see on one side of the video here. And then y'all can see the front facing camera being recorded from the S8 on the other side here. And we're gonna go ahead and run through the test. The first part of the test, we're going to check for leakage. So I'm just put the headphones on and play. Everything else is set to max volume. Digitally, the headphones are maxed out. Physically, the headphones are maxed out. So I'm gonna put them on my head and we're gonna check for leakage. Then, after I let that play for about uh, 15, maybe 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds, I'm going to hold the headphones up to the mics on the S8 to give y'all a nice crisp sound sample. And then we're going to cut and I'm going to plug up the Amazon Basics cardioid microphone and we're gonna run through the test one more time. So without further ado, let's jump into this testing here. So everything's set up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the headphones on and we're gonna go ahead and push play. And check for leakage. Here we go. All right, let me hold this up to the mic. Couple more seconds. All right, let me pause the music. Let's rewind that back to the beginning. And let me pause and we'll plug up the microphone and I'll be right back. All right, so the microphone is plugged up. I got my little on-screen notification. Let me know that all the audio will be being recorded through what's plugged into the headphone jack. And now let's go ahead and run through the test one more time. So, let's push play and check for leakage. Throw these headphones on. Comfy fit. Let's go. All right, that's good. Let me hold this headphones up to the mic. 
and here we go. Okay, and we're done. All right, so that pretty much does it for this fit and sound demo simulated test using the Amazon Basics cardioid microphone. And that pretty much brings up, brings my video coverage of the microphone to a close. If you guys and gals enjoyed the video, y'all know what to do. Please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. Also, feel free to do the same thing if you found the video helpful and enjoyed it. You know what to do. If you want to see more coverage like this, including more video production gear, headphones, smartphones, tablets, so on and so forth, y'all know what it is. I love technology around here. We get in there what we get in there. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so y'all get notified when I publish new videos that being said everything that I used in the production of this video smartphones microphones so on and so forth as I said before in the review portion of this video all that stuff will be linked up down below in the video description so if this video piqued your interest down below in the video description should be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals and you should be good to go I hope everyone has a great day, and I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. Peace, everyone.